Welcome to Veil Extra. This video explains about the basics of a circuit board and its different types. So what is a circuit board? A circuit board is a board which is used to mount an electronic circuit on it. The electronic components such as resistors, capacitors, diodes, integrated circuits and many more are placed or inserted into the circuit board. The circuit board is used to hold these components at one place and make connections between the different components which completes the circuit. There are different types of circuit boards used in electronics. Let's get started one by one with them. The first one is a solder less circuit board also known as the breadboard. We have covered the basics of breadboard in detail in our previous video. Check the link in the description for more information on breadboard. Next we have the perk board. Short form for perforated board. The perk board is a board with holes on it. The holes are ringed by round or square copper pads on which the terminals of the components can be soldered to the board. These boards have such copper pads only on one side which is known as the soldering side of the board. The other side can be called as the insertion side. The components are inserted from the insertion side through the holes. The holes are evenly spaced at a general distance of 0.1 inch or 2.54 millimeters from each other. This example shows the use of a perforated circuit board for mounting a circuit on it. Here you can watch that the components are inserted through insertion side and are soldered on the soldering side. The connections between components can be directly soldered to each other or else connecting wires can be used. Going further we have the strip board. It is also known as Vero board. It more similar to a perk board but with the difference in the copper strips. The strip board has copper strips running across any one side instead of independent ringed copper pads on the soldering side. This board also contains holes on it through which components are inserted. The holes are evenly spaced at a general distance of 0.1 inch or 2.54 millimeters from each other. This board uses less connecting wires as compared to perforated board that we saw before. The copper tracks form parallel paths which can be connected to the components those are in parallel connection. The copper tracks can be disconnected as per our needs using a sharp tool to scratch and disconnect it. This example shows the use of a strip board for mounting a circuit on it. Here you can watch that the components are inserted through insertion side and are soldered on the soldering side. The connections between components can be directly soldered to each other or else connecting wires can be used. And the last one to describe. The printed circuit board. It's an advanced type of circuit board used in high-end circuits and applications. It consists of no normal connecting wires on the board at all. But there are wires present on the board itself known as tracks or paths which connect the components on the circuit board to each other. Observe them. The holes are also known as vias. Such boards are made using plain copper clads which is a board consisting of at least one copper layer on one side and the other is a plain side in case of a single layered copper clad. The circuit is designed using CAD software such as Eagle, Proteus, Altium Designer, and many more. It has many other process which have to be carried out for making a proper PCB which we will explain in our future videos. These types of circuit boards can be classified into various types depending on the layers it contains. Such as, single layered PCB, double layered PCB, multi layered PCB, and a special type of PCB, the flexible PCB. That's all for now. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like our work and write up in the comments. See you soon.